Okay, these things happen. But now you understand, you have to give them back. But you and I agreed. We only play for keeps. I know I said that, but these are mine. You can try and win them back. Win them? My marbles? That wouldn't be fair, I mean... <laughs> adult me? <laughs> against kid you? Why not? How about this afternoon? You're on. <laughs> I'll be back in marble shape in no time. Maybe I should add some rubber bands. I'm a lot older and a lot stronger than when I was a kid. Oh, Eric won't believe what I found. I'll be rich and famous and rich. Oh, this painting has probably been lying around in the Akundai's garage for years, just waiting to be discovered by me. <laughs> and all for one buck. Hm. The brush strokes are masterful. The color sublime, the painting inspired, the whole thing reeks of genius, and it's all mine. Mine. Ah! <laughs> oh, wait till Eric sees this. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> oh! Mm. I'll never be able to play Prue like this. Eric, what's wrong? I've lost my marbles. <laughs> that happened to me once. What did you do? I just stopped putting sugar on my cereal and stayed out of the sun for a few days. Ow. It's starting to swell. I'll never be ready for the big game. Maybe I wasn't older and stronger after all, just older and dumber. Eric, let me look. I know a remedy my mom used to use. Dear, no, doesn't that feel better? Maybe a little, but not really. <laughs> My mum was one in a million. No, oh, I almost forgot. I have something that'll totally take your mind off your finger. <laughs> I've made a bigger discovery than Albert Einstein. Do you mean Alfred Einstein, your cousin? No, Albert Einstein, the scientist. <laughs> Maybe you better sit down for this. Prepare to be astounded and amazed. Voila! That's the Mona Lisa. Oh. Yes, I knew I was right. I knew I recognized that smile. <laughs> CJ, I don't understand. It's priceless, isn't it? Well, the original is priceless. It was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. But has he done anything recently? No, that was painted around 1503. I knew it was ancient. I'm rich. I'm rich, Eric. I'm rich. CJ, <laughs> that's cardboard. Do you realize cardboard wasn't invented in 1503? That's incredible. Wow, a great painter and the inventor of cardboard. No wonder the guy's famous. CJ, what? I think you're overlooking something. That I'm your manager? Eric, I would never overlook that. Now that I'm fabulously wealthy, I won't forget the little people. Heck, I'll buy a new string for your banjo. Heck, a whole set of strings. Ha <laughs> ha. Eric, can I use your bathroom? Sure, Max. Eric? I'm going to take Mona home and fit her with the frame she deserves. Expensive. Ha <laughs> ha. See ya. Come on, Mona. Oh, keep smiling. Pull. But CJ, ow. Thanks for letting me use your closet. I mean, bathroom. Sure, Max. Where are you going? To the closet. Why? I want to put on a sweater. I feel a little chilly. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Then... You should turn up the heat. No, I'll put on a sweater. That way I'll save energy. Then I'll lend you my sweater. <laughs> Max, is there a reason why I can't get in my closet? Because it's locked. <laughs> Only by you. Is there something in there? Yes. What? Your sweater. <laughs> Very funny. Ugh. I see. Max, we had a deal. But I just need Kelly Gruber and I have the whole set. When I was your age, I only needed one card, Mickey Mantle. I dreamed about it. I schemed about it. It became the most important thing in my life. And then school started. 
and I found something that made me forget all about Mickey Mantle. What was that? Girls. <laughs> the point is, you can't let your collection take up your whole life. We have to find something that'll take your mind off baseball cards. Max! Do that again. Okay. No, not the sniff, the marble. That's it. Max, I'm in a jam and I need your help. How would you like to be my designated marbler? Sure. Hi, Eric. Hi, Max. Hi, Prue. Hi, Prue. Eric, what happened to your finger? Sports injuries. That's too bad. I guess we'll have to cancel our game. Actually, Prue, I was wondering if perhaps Max could sit in for me. It's okay with me. I can beat anybody. You might find him more of a challenge than you think. Size isn't everything. I'm pretty small. Have I ever told you about my pet flea, Hercules? Who? Hercules, king of the fleas. Strongest little bug you'll ever see. He's got muscles on his shoulders strong enough to topple boulders. I'm proud to say this flea belongs to me. We were out Vancouver way doing 15 shows a day. The crowd was on the edges of their seats. Hercules was lifting weights twice the size of packing crates. He'd lift them up and spin them with his feet. When a tree came toppling down, it snapped with quite a sound. The people underneath began to pray. And with a single bound, Hercules leapt from the ground. He lifted up the tree and saved the day. It was a pleasant night in June. We were staring at the moon when a comet came and banged it off its course. It started falling down, spilling green cheese all around. Yeah! We thought we'd all be killed, or even worse. But Hercules, he flexed his back. He stopped it in its tracks. It didn't get a chance to make a dent. And with a mighty shove, he threw it up above. And right back up into the sky it went. Hercules, king of the fleas, the strongest little bug you'll ever see. He's got muscles on his shoulders strong enough to topple boulders. I'm proud to say this flea belongs to me. He's got muscles on his shoulders strong enough to topple boulders. I'm proud to say this flea belongs to me. That's a good story, Eric. But I'm still the best at marbles in this trailer park. There's only one way to find out. A marble showdown. Right. Your finger against... <laughs> Max, where's the game? No, up here. As Mississauga Fat said, you see with your ears, you hear with your eyes. What does that mean? I don't know. I never understood that. Ready? Prue, did you bring my marbles? I have my marbles right here. Wow, those are great marbles, Prue. I know. Eric, you're breathing on them. Sorry. OK, does everybody understand the rules of the game? I don't. Simple. Each one shoots a marble. Whoever gets it closest or in wins both. Sounds like fun. That's the spirit. Just remember, this is for keeps. Let the game begin. 